Hi everyone, my name is Arnav and I'm a judge here at the ICPC World Finals 2021. And I'm here to present the solution to problem M, trailing digits. So in this problem, uh, you're given, you want to sell some items. Each item has a price and you want to sell these items in bundles such that the price of a bundle ends uh, with some specific digit. So here, uh, our items cost 57 cents and uh, we want to send them in, sell them in bundles not exceeding 40,000 cents such that the bundle price ends with as many fours as possible. And uh, the best solution here is to sell uh, uh, bundles that cost 39,444 cents. And this, as you can see, ends with uh, three fours. So that's the, uh, so the answer uh, to be output here is three. One of the harder parts of this problem is the bound on A is quite large. A is less than or equal to 10 to the 10,000. Uh, so we can't iterate over every possible bundle price. There's, there's too many. So instead, let's look at an equation. Let's say we have some number k, which is the number of items in a bundle, times the price of an item. And that needs to be equal to uh, some power of 10. Let's say l is the number of trailing digits times some value x plus this digit repeated l times. Um, so here, uh, L is 3, um, X is 39, and this is 444. Four, four. So let's take this equation and let's consider this equation modulo B uh, to get rid of this side. So now we have 0 is equivalent to 10 to the L times X plus, again, this D repeating string modulo B. And uh, we can compute uh, for, for a given L, we can uh, uh, solve for this and find the uh, smallest possible X uh, that, uh, that satisfies this equation. Um, and then once we have that X, uh, we can actually construct the string. Uh, one thing that's important to note is, uh, the, is that a zero is less than X is less than or equal to B. So the length of X is, uh, is, sorry, is less than or equal to b. So the length of x is uh, at most 6. And this lets us compare our, uh, our answer, our candidate answer, to a uh, using string functions. We don't need any big integer manipulation. So we uh, set up this equation. We solve it using a uh, modular inverse uh, function. Um, in uh, big O of log B time. And we can do this for every length. So the overall runtime is big O of the logarithm of A times the logarithm of B. Uh, one, uh, one thing you might notice is that if you can uh, make a, a length of size L, you can make any smaller length um, because it's, uh, it's still a, a suffix. Uh, so this function is actually monotonic, and you can, uh, you can binary search on this length L, but that's not necessary to solve this problem. Uh, thank you for watching.